back to some more Fallout New Vegas, and today, the adventures of Bruce are going good. See, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk to Joe Cobb over here and see how he's what doing. What do you want? He's some traitor who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. But serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback from Ringo. It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. None of your damn business. You ought to know better than to ask. Robbed some people, burned some things, killed a few guys. That's a pretty good XP boost. Same old shit that's been going on for years. Alright, well that's the last we need to know. So, we're gonna go ahead and walk up. We're gonna go help Ringy Howdy. Boy. We're not gonna help, we're not gonna help the Powder Gangers. I mean, later we, we will a little bit. We're only gonna help them to the point where I don't have to kill in, where I have to kill NCR. I'm not gonna kill the NCR because they're good people, but... Besides the point, I don't want to, I don't want to end game being bad, I just want to be as good as possible, and this is the best way I can do that. Might as well loot some stuff while I'm over here. Let's say hi. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Sorry about the gun. We got off to a bad start. Yeah, he doesn't look very t Again, excuse me for the jump cut. I missed out on some important story dialogue and I'm very disappointed, but something happened that I could not... Duh. Something happened that I could not fix, so... I'm gonna lay low for his... All I've got left on me are a handful of caps, but you get me out of this. We just end. Start with sunny smiles. We can take most of this stuff, so it's probably better if we do. You just ate in front of me? open some of these boxes. Some of the stuff's decent, but it's not the best loot you can get in this town. Like, boxing times, that's gonna be pretty good if you don't have any weapons like this doctor's bag. You know, stuff like, uh, turpentine if you ever have the chance, but this stuff down here for some reason, the 9mm rounds for some reason are owned, which doesn't make any sense. But I'll take that carton of cigarettes because it's worth 40 caps and we don't have that many caps at the moment, so. I need a lock and picking skill of 25. Might as well take all the cases for this stuff that we can. Make sense. If we could shoot down a bird, I'd totally do it, but I know I'd miss. I mean, look how much this guy wobbles around with a gun. But I digress. Now it's crucial to get as much XP as you can before leaving Good Springs because you're not going to come back here for quite some time. And you're not going to want to either because there's really not much here you can get. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs? Say no more. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. If you could con- I know Easy Pete's- Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra hold- I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Not in good springs, no. Most of- If you want-
I don't need to talk about that stuff. Let's just give a let's give a chat to Trudy. Real so quick. you're planning on taking up? All the more reason for me to sit. Be careful out there. Okay, hold on. What's my lock picking skill? Because if it's not that good, then oh yeah, it's 16. That's really bad. Um, I've got boosted science though, which is nice. I think I think I boosted science, sorry. Science, yeah, 38. So we're absolutely going to be able to hack the first terminal that's in the that schoolhouse over there. So it's not going to be a very hard challenge. What might be a challenge though are those stupid, stupid, stupid mantises. Really annoying. I'll just take my my knife out because I have um, I'm specialized in what is it uh, melee weapons, so it's gonna be uh, easier for me. There's also some random loot in these uh, mailboxes. Switchblades are terrible. I'm not taking that. Like, like, it's randomized to the point where it can be completely useless if you have no clue what you're gonna do with it. Fortunately, that happens a lot. And there's some mantises over here, which is nice. Get some XP for some killing. Get some Xander root. Wonder where the mantises are. They're normally supposed to be some here. But I digress. Here they are. take that much damage. Dang! Why was it set to own for like two seconds? That makes no sense. Um, not much good stuff here. We got some bobby pins. Science magazine. Pre-war books. Toolbox. Scrap electronics. I don't need that until later in the game. Foot locker. Nothing of use to me. Let's check out these lockers. No, I don't want Nuka Cola bottles. Oh, yep. Definitely need some caps. We have almost none. So that'll be nice. Ooh, another magazine. It's the same one. Bam, we could just have like we just have like stacked science mag Salesman Weekly. This place is full of magazines. Like I'm literally gonna be able to do anything I want. Like it's amazing. No point in searching these desks. Besides this one, but I think all the rest of them just have junk in them. Like, I think I think that is. Oh wait, no, that they, they can't even open them. So I guess these are just random loot. So I don't want to pick that. I can't even pick that safe. So I'm gonna have to unlock it using um, science for that terminal over there. But yeah, the moment, the moment. I get leveled up, I'm gonna put it on speech and lock picking. So maybe I can get at least 25 on both. Because that is the minimum requirement, and we have almost none of that on all of our skills, and that's really bad for this early in the game. So, let's hack this terminal, why don't we? And I will be using uh, some cheats. Not like cheats, I mean, like, I'm just gonna be like backing out at the last second so I get stuff replenished. Jessica packing, wasting, dud removed, nice. Let's see here. Where is it? There's, there should be more. There's at least two on every single one, so. Is that Despacito? Guess not on this one. We can do that. Dang it.
I don't want to get locked out, because there's no way you can not be locked out. That's just not going to be good for me. If you get locked out, you're done. Simple as that. Allowance for punish. God dang it. I didn't even use any of them yet. I hate taking chances like that too, because unfortunately, once you get it locked out, you're done. You can't, you can't play anymore, and that really sucks for people like me, because I'm not very good at this. Freaking dang it! I had six out of seven. I was so close. I wasted one of my entries on that. I'm not... Well, I leveled up, which is good. Okay, let's see here. Well, I got a speech boost already, so I don't exactly care. Lady Killer, no. Retention, Swift Learner. Not getting that. No. Retention. No, I'll just do intense training. That's probably the best one I can get. Rapid Reload. Guns 30, Agility 5. Man... I don't know what I'm gonna do then. Well, I already got I got a lockpick magazine, so I guess I'll just spend all my money on guns, lockpick, and speech because that's really all the time for that I have for. Um, let's see. What am I gonna upgrade? I'll upgrade my perception because that one's pretty good. I mean, why not? Bottle cap, mentat, free war money. That's not worth very much. So no. Stealth point is super stim pack. I'm not gonna use that immediately when I'm gonna about to die. Cause that's called how to be stupid. What's in this one? Oh yeah, that stuff. Okay, well now that we're done with the schoolyard, we can... Wait, hold on, what are we wearing? Okay, well we can at least rest easy knowing that we have enough speech to get Trudy in on us. And we're not, we don't even have, a, we don't even have near enough explosives to get easy Pete with us so we're just gonna have to leave him out of it if I specialized in bartering it might be a little easier for um to get to get Chet but I don't think we're gonna get him I think all we're gonna get is truly Trudy really I mean it's not like it matters all that much I mean I mean I'm, I mean for the fights like that I'm obviously gonna be using my gun but I don't have hey Enough stupidity to use Feeling a, thirsty? a knife and a gunfight. I can fight. take care of that. I was planning on sitting this one out. Let me have a word with a few other folk. While everyone does own a gun. That's a nice XP boost. Again, I would get Swift Learner if it wasn't for the fact that it sucks at later levels. So unfortunately, not doing that. I talked about that too much last episode, so... You must be the one doc. I need supplies to fight. Now just. Yeah, see, bartering? It's not gonna work. Look, you're bringing this on yourself. Show me what you have for sale. Circles The leader was a new Vegas type. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest on account of them being. Alright. Well, I have Salesman Weekly, so maybe I can, maybe I can get him on with us. Salesman Weekly, Barter plus 10. There we go. Now I can talk to him.
You looking to buy some supplies? You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And... Weapon mods. What does he have for... Hold on. I kind of want to buy his silenced gun. Because silenced is pretty good. I'll buy those two things. Now I don't have much left, so let's see what I can sell. I'll sell that carton of cigarettes. Um, I don't. Mentats would be pretty useful though. I'll just I'll keep one purified water and um, let's see here. I guess I guess I'll just have to do. We have some Pleasure modest. Business with you. We have a modest amount of rounds. Good news though is now that we have that silenced pistol. Now I know what you're saying. Gun kind of sucks, but the good thing is, this thing is amazing with stealth. Like um, this is like one of the best stealth guns in the game. Now it might be kind of hard to use, but it, it it'll probably be the best thing we have at the moment. But I'm not gonna use that. That would be retarded. I'm gonna use Hello. my varmint rifle, so. <laughs> Adder, what can me. easy Now, when we talk to you. him, he does have dynamite, but I need explosives. This is not a speech regulation. Like, see, it's explosive. I have 13 out of 25. There's no way, no way. So. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of. Yeah, so we're gonna go talk to Chet. We got the most amount of people we can get. Actually, the leather armor we get to keep. So, I'm gonna wear that. That's actually pretty useful. Probably the best part about this quest is you get, essentially, free armor out of it. That's Salesman Weekly. I found. I did not buy that. Well, the second one I did. But I always want to keep a Salesman Weekly on me because bartering is especially useful in this game. Like, you don't want to pay as much or you want to sell stuff for more than it's worth to them. Just... Specialize in bartering. You'll get a, a, a modest amount of caps in a very short amount of so time. So what's going on? Time to look alive. Uh huh. Got it. Let's see if I could run like that. That'd be great, but kind of can't. And it kind of sucks. Whoa, whoa. Careful. Kidding me? Hold on, I specialize in energy weapons. This should be pretty good for my laser pistol, I suppose. you a huge favor for this it's all I've got with me but if you howdy hold on I gotta I gotta fix this real quick Why does it do this? Like, seriously, come on. God freaking dang it, man. Come on.
Okay, finally I fixed it. I hate it when it does that. It always does that. Why does Roar repair these? Don't really got much reason not to. Um, don't have any caps really. I'll keep the vault suit though. That's pretty useful. Uh, not not for now, but more later in the game. And we're gonna head up here because we can get a special snow globe and some cool uh, stuff from graves. Mostly ammunition, but it'll definitely be useful later. Again, not going that way until I reach Prim. I do not have enough experience in fighting monsters to head that way yet. And heading over there, I'd literally instantly get killed by Casador, so I'm not taking that chance. And I'm going to have to explore all the other quests before I can do the main storyline. I'd get killed by Deathclaws before I even started the game, essentially. Hmm, some distinctive cigarette butts. Let's take these. Wink, wink, later in the game, wink, wink. Check out these bent tin cans. Either way, it's nice that we get to dig up stuff like this. This is, oh yeah, this snow globe. Ooh, that's, that's really useful. Come on, coyote tobacco chew. Make sure you take all the stuff that's here. Besides, like, you can also take, you should also take those cigarette butts, because they're not... They're not, uh, good for now, but they are good for later, so it's important that you do take those. And, I'm gonna go explore the Good Springs houses before we get the chance to leave. Now, we're, we're only spending these two episodes in Fallout New Vegas in Good Springs. Because I just want to make sure I've left with everything I can possibly scrounge up. Oh yeah, I also gotta loot those, um, those Powder Gangers Bobby's bodies. And now, uh, the reason I did this, um, Good Springs was now, is because I needed that XP. I really did. If I didn't get that XP now, I'd probably be paying for it later. But anyways, let's loot these guys' bodies. Uh, nothing good. Oh yeah, single shotgun. You know, cowboy hat like that. Seeing a shotgun, full. These guys have some really decent stuff. Baseball bat, like stuff like that's not very good. Ooh, a 357 Magnum. Oh yeah, this is this is Joe Cobb. So he has some pretty good stuff, jeez. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna take that baseball bat. Why do these guys all have single shotguns or varmint rifles? Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to repair all my weapons. I don't want to... Using a, only a knife is not exactly the greatest opportunity for me, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this baseball bat. Does 12 damage, 8 damage. It's fine. Knife's in good condition, I think I'll keep it. A little slugger boy. I'm gonna put that bat away. We'll enter this good springs house, and if it's owned, then we can leave. Oh yeah, no, it's all set to like not owned, so I don't I don't think it would cost too much. Uh pork and beans, rat rich dirty water. I'd rather take this pork and beans and rat rich meat. I don't want to get that many rats too fast. A BB gun, we can sell that. I know it's not very good, but we can sell it. Auto caps. Pretty sure this is like one of the only places we can find a BB gun, so it'll be nice. 357 Magnum rounds, and this is why I explore every single Good Springs house, because it usually has decent stuff. That's not the way I came in. And this one should have a magazine in it. Yeah, I remember. All the other uh, mailboxes besides like this one and this one 
have like spe uh, randomized loot. That one always does have a thing at the end. There's, that's an actual toolbox. Like, come on, put some garbage in your toolboxes. I mean, Fall uh, 3, like the bats in that game were pretty good. So I wouldn't be surprised if they were good in this game too, because they're, they're built on the same thing, right? Oh, you're almost dead. Didn't I think I shot her. Oh, that's... Oh, that's really good. I'm gonna take that. I feel bad. I feel bad. Yeah, how's my karma, anyway? Neutral. I'm a renegade. And, uh, we're gonna read this. Sneak increased by three. That's why I took that. Now, I, now, now hear me out. I feel bad. Okay, I feel bad. What's in here? Nothing, really. Yeah, I don't, I, I feel bad. But here's the thing. That is really useful. I'm never gonna upgrade my sne my sneak, so that's probably gonna be one of the best things that we can come across in, in this part of the game. So I'm not too mad, and and uh, Victor's house is actually gonna come in really handy, and that will be the end of the episode once we've searched through all of these houses to make sure there's nothing left in them. I'm not gonna talk to Victor. His his lines are pretty garbage. But, all the stuff in here is not set to own, because he's not a person, so... Scrap metal, you'll want to take that. I mean, it'll suck, but yeah, want to take that. Varmint rifle ammo, but it can also be used for other weapons later. Weapon repair kit, definitely useful, take that. Um, let's see, more scrap metal. More ammo. Ooh, energy cells for our laser pistol. Hello, I'm there. Might as well uh, drink for that, that one hit point that we lost. And I think that's the majority of things that you'll want to grab from Victor's house, but just in case. Okay, no, nothing else. Yeah, that... Victor's stuff is okay. It's not the greatest. Ooh, another lock on Doma. You have to put... If, if like, you find a book and it doesn't have any details when you pick it up, or like anything that it does, and it's like specially marked. It doesn't. It's not like destroyed or ruined or burned or pre-war or anything like that. Um, definitely use it. It upgrades one of your uh, stats. Well, I think that is the majority of things that we can move from Good Springs. And another. Why do I have three La Fantomas? Come on, man. Jeez. But yeah, that'll have to be it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed this episode of Fallout New Vegas, please be sure to give it a like, comment, and a subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Hey.